Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to introduce NPM and talk about what it is and why we care. Now NPM is, stands for Node Package Manager. If you go to their website npmjs.com you can see all of the different cool packages that people have made for Node. Now every time you load this page it'll give you a different acronym up here. Just being silly you can click on it and it'll give you a whole bunch of different NPM acronyms but NPM stands for the Node Package Manager, is what it stands for. Why do we care? What does the Node Package Manager do? Well, it allows us to quickly and easily install open source libraries to use with our Node applications. There are tons and tons and tons of packages on NPM that people have made that other people we don't know, we're never going to meet, they've made this, uh, these packages, they've written this code, and they allow us to use it for entirely free. So NPM is wonderful and amazing, and it makes your life so much easier. One thing to note, on the back end, we can't just use a script tag. We can't just come in on the back end and type script and then um, link to source equals whatever. We can't do that on the back end. So if we're going to use these things, we have to actually install them on our back end. And that's what the package manager does. NPM is the largest repository of open source libraries in the world. And it has a super simple command line interface, or CLI, for managing those packages. We're going to be using throughout the, this course a bunch of NPM packages, several packages that other people wrote that we're never going to have to worry about. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. Other people already did that. So we can focus on making things work instead of writing a bunch of code that is just reinventing the wheel. For our application, we're going to be using several packages, including Express, which we've already talked about. So let's look at Express. It's right here. It says it's a fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework for Node. And it has documentation to walk you through it, so all kinds of cool stuff. We're also going to be using Mongoose. Mongoose is a MongoDB object modeling tool designed to work in an asynchronous environment, supports both promises and callbacks. We haven't talked about any of that stuff yet. But Mon it, basically, Mongoose lets us work with MongoDB much more easily than trying to do it without it. We're going to be using Body Parser. Body Parser is um, middleware that is used to parse the body of requests. So it parses incoming request bodies into middleware before your handlers, allowing you to access the information inside of them. We're also going to be using Passport, right here, which is authentication and authorization, allows you to log in, basically is what that comes down to. We're going to be using Flash, which is simple Flash messages. It allows you to kind of give little pop-ups on the screen. If somebody logs in, it'll say, logged you in, or if they put in a wrong password, you can say your password and username don't match or whatever. So we're going to be using those as well as some others. So that's just a brief introduction to what we're going to be using. And the brilliant thing about Node and all other package managers, honestly, is that it makes it so that we don't have to worry about dependencies. So let's look at Express, for example. Let's pull Express back up. And you'll see here that Express has 30 dependencies. What that means is that in order for Express to work, you have to have all 30 of these things installed. Every single one of these things needs to be installed before Express will work. However, let's look at the first thing, Accepts. It has two dependencies. So in order for Accepts to work, you have to install these things first. So not only do we have to install Express, then we have to install Incepts, but in, in order for that to work, we have to install these two, MIME types and negotiator. Let's click on MIME types. That has a dependency, MIMEDB. Finally, we're at the bottom where it doesn't have a dependency. So you can see how this whole thing can quickly grow exponentially over time as you start to get packages that depend on packages that depend on packages. If you tried to do this manually by yourself, you would spend hours and hours and hours troubleshooting it. And any time any one of those packages updated, you would have to spend hours and hours again figuring out the new dependencies. This is why NPM is amazing, and all package managing software for that matter, because it handles this for us. All we have to do is type in a single command, npm i mime db, or whatever the package is, and node and npm on the background will install all of the dependencies for us. It'll check what we have installed. If we have it, it'll leave it alone. If we don't have it, it'll install it for us and it just takes a few seconds. It makes life so much easier. In this video, we talked about what NPM is, and we talked about several different packages that we're going to be using when we build our websites. We also talked about what dependencies are and why NPM makes managing them 
absolutely wonderful and not a terror that it used that it would be otherwise. In the next video, we're going to actually start installing NPM packages and start working with them. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.